We're walking outside the Arsenale in Venice, where the 56th Venice Biennale is just opening. And I'm walking through and between and within undoubtedly the biggest work in this exhibition by a Ghanaian artist called Ibrahim Mahami. The entire cocoa production of Ghana leaves the country in sacks like this and the people who work in the industry are subject to all kinds of violations and mistreatment. And yet Mahami has made a work which is both wretched and beautiful. The title of the current Biennale is called All the World's Futures and it's curated by Okwe and Wesel. The exhibition explores the state of politics and culture around the world. And as well as looking at the future, it has to disinter the past. So this is uh, Oscar Murillo's work. Uh, I'm not, what's going on here? So the project's called Frequencies and uh, visits schools across the globe, installs canvases on children's desks, leaves the canvas there for six months, and we don't give many instructions. Oh, or... so it's all the kids' graffiti yeah. and stuff. So these are from uh, Colombia, the Pilo, which, which is where Oscar's yeah. family is from, even though he was brought up in the UK. Yeah, that's where he got the idea for the project. Yeah. He went back to his old school where he used to draw on the desks and saw kids. And what a naughty thing. boy he was. Exactly. Are they for sale? Not for sale. Not yet. There are times in the Biennale where I have no idea where I am or why. Uh, this is like a multicoloured moon, really. It's the surface of some other planet. Although it's kind of lush and fun and colourful and made up as she goes along, Katharina Gross's uh, environment is it's almost about as much about decay as it is about something emerging. It's, uh, you're not quite sure if things are being degraded into this kind of grey magma or they're becoming more colourful because they're arising out of it. The good thing about coming on the opening days to the Biennale is that you often bump into the artists, uh, sometimes in the bars, sometimes when you're queuing for a restaurant, sometimes in the Vaporetto and sometimes even they hang around near their work. You're Abu Bakr Mansare, right, from yeah. Sierra Leone. Yeah. First time in the Biennale? Yeah, this is my first time in the Biennale here, and it's my first time of being here in Venice. But I like it. I was here yesterday and looking at your nuclear telephone mm -hmm. discovered in hell. Exactly. What were you doing I in hell? I was here and back to do experiment. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is working here. Everything works. Everything is working. If there is an engineer here yeah. that can read within this thing, he can he tell that everything is that fine. Everything is really real. Yeah. 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 Did you study engineering? You're self-taught. Sure. That's what artists are, right? Yeah. Sure. We're self-taught engineers of the world. Sure. This is all part of a theatre project by Chinese artist Ki ZJ and it makes a lot of sound and fury and there are flashing lights and things that look like torture machines out of Kafka. <laughs> like a lot of things in the Biennale, it's kind of mad and when you first come in it's utterly incomprehensible. And I kind of enjoy its success, I mean you just go with the flow really, what else can you do? Throughout the main show in the Biennale, there are readings from Karl Marx's Das Kapital. The whole thing is being read in half-hour chunks between now and the end of November. Whether, whether, whether Marx really matters to most of the people here, or whether he's here as just a kind of symbol of a world which is more equal, I'm not sure. But it certainly seems strange with all those rich guys' yachts outside. Hello, sailor! So we're in the Greek pavilion and a shop has suddenly arrived here. Maria Papadimitriou. Did I get that right? Correct. So you've removed this whole shop from Greece to the pavilion. Yeah. 
And you discovered this place by chance? Uh, this shop uh, is in Volos, in the city of Volos, at the Thessalic region. Where is my university? I'm okay. teaching there, the architects. Okay. So it was just on your way to work? Uh, yeah. That's yeah. It. But this place is incredible with its yeah. is it dead, happening? dead badger skins and, and a stuffed yeah. wolf and a stuff yeah. and a bear skin up there. And this is the, um, the whole life of the owner of the shop. And he didn't mind you taking everything? He said, uh, why do you want to move those garbage? <laughs> We're going to be ridiculous. I said, no, it's not like this. And then I started to give him lessons about the art, how art is working. And after one, two months, he said, okay, Maria understood, take it. And then he said, he said, but please, take care of this bicycle. It's a very old German bicycle. I need it back. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a place. So this is, uh one of Sarah Lucas's sculptures <laughs> sitting on the portico of the British Pavilion which as you can see is rammed with people it's phallic and feminine I think it's a great place to sit back and relax and think about the Biennale and life and the future and I feel I'm returning to some baby-like state under this with the father's looming well, hasn't he got a big one? And the mother's breasts, or maybe their dad's balls, right behind me. <sighs> Life is confusing, sex is confusing, I am confusing, I'm probably confused. Hello, Mum. God. So what's it called? It's called Maradona. <laughs> Actually, it's called Deep Cream Maradona. Deep cream, it's lovely. It's the name of the colour. Reclining male nude. Is that the only male? 